morning children welcome to online classes for 8th standard so in previous previous two parts we have discussed in the chapter called crop production and management in second part we have discussed we have discussed about uh, different agricultural practices in previous class we have discussed first uh, agricultural practice that is called uh, preparation of the soil in this a uh, part we are going to discuss the next uh, agricultural practice that is sowing so what is sowing sowing is an important part of crop production so we need whatever the seed we have to, that seed has to be put into the soil that is for what is sowing so before sowing we need to select good and healthy quality of a seeds how we need to select them how we need to uh, uh, observe whether it is good good seed or the bad seed how can we test them so but how can we test we should take some amount of uh, seeds and uh, put them into the uh, uh, bowl containing water if the seeds if they are floats on the surface of the container it means that that seed is not healthy why because if it is damaged if it is becomes water hollow hence it it will floats on the surface of the water so if it is the seed if it is uh, uh, sinks in the bottom of the container that seed is called what a good seed and such kind of good seed we need to take for the sowing of the crops next how to sow this so we will how to sow these soil seeds in the fields so we will use different kind of tools for sowing of a seed in the fields so there are two major tools are using for sowing of a seeds the first one called what a traditional tool and second one is called what a seed drill what is traditional tool how it is this is what the traditional tool how it is it is a funnel it is a funnel and which is having three uh, rod like structures or pipe like structure which is fixed to the funnel this is tool is funnel shaped this is what a funnel shaped these the seeds are filled into the funnel here the feed seeds are filled into the funnel this is the feed seeds are filled into the funnel passed down through the through two or three pipes having sharp ends so this is two pipes sir the after filling the seeds into the funnel those seeds which passes through these pipes which are having sharp end at the end sharp end through those ends these ends which pours the soil and place the seed into that particular place this is in this way the seeds are sowing by using at uh, this tool called a traditional tool so it is normally from the ancient people they are using this kind of tool for sowing of a seed nowadays there is another tool is used that is called a seed drill how it is seed drill uh, that is second tool how it is this is what seed drill so it is completely made up of machine so the number is the seed drill is used for sowing of seed with the help of tractors so this is come this is called what a seed drill which is fixed to the tractor fixed to the tractor that end use so this what how, how it is used how it is useful for the seed sowing so this this uh, seed drill sows the seeds uniformly at equal distance and at the equal depth and it ensures the that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing so after he if the, this is a place so soil if the seed is uh, fixed into the particular place and later the it is covered with the soil why because this after covering this uh, seed with the soil it will uh, protect from the birds for eating them so this is one of the advantages of this seed drill sowing seed and by using of this tool it saves the time and the labor so these are the two major tools are used for sowing of a seed this is the second agricultural practice the third agricultural practice that is called a third one that is adding manure and fertilizers first one we have first one we have discussed what the preparation of the soil second one what the sowing of seed and third one is what the adding manure and fertilizers this is what which helps to get good feed crops from the field uh, we need to add a manure and a fertilizers the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called a manure or fertilizers if you want to get good yield if you want to get get good uh, crops from the fields you need to add these manure or a fertilizers so what is manure manure is a organic substance this is 
organic usually it is made up of what so manure is usually made up of what organic uh, substances by using of what waste from the animal or the plant so how and how they do so the farmers they made they made a pit in that pit they will dump all the wastes from the collected uh, collect from the plant and the animal and the, those wastes they allow them to get decomposed this decomposition is done by with the help of some microorganisms so those microorganisms which decompose the this matter called a uh, animal and a uh, 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 plants waste after decompose that the decomposed matter they will use or they will uh, uh, put into the uh, feeds and they get a better yield so this uh, this is called what organic manure so by the way this is what organic manure how it is then what about the fertilizers what is it for the fertilizer these are chemicals fertilizers are nothing but what these are chemicals which having one particular nutrient one chemical fertilizer with supplies one particular of nutrients whereas manure which supplies almost all the uh, nutrients to the crops but whereas chemicals which gives only one particular nutrient to the crops examples urea ammonium sulfate super phosphate potash and npk npk means nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so these are the some examples of what the fertilizers which are very very important for the better uh, better growth of plants and uh, the fertilizer helps farmer to get better yield of crops like the uh, wheat paddy and wheat but chemical fertilizers are very dangerous and uh, which uh, loses the uh, soil fertility when soil fertility loses it when soil loses its fertility it loses its uh, absorbing capacity and uh, uh, it loses its absorbing capacity and the uh, soil it becomes what hard and uh, it won't give uh, good uh, healthy yield uh, later so we need to adopt different kind of uh, instead of using chemical fertilizers we need to use manure is best best or apart from this we need to use uh, methods for rotation methods so we should not supposed to uh, grow a uh, same kind of crop continuously in the same field why because if you continuously if you use if you cultivate the crops in the same place uh, the nutrients get loses and nutrients go to become poor so that we need to adopt uh, what uh, shifting methods or rotation method of uh, rotation cultivation we should do adopt for enriching of what uh, nutrients in the soil if it is loses when the soil loses uh, nutrients we need to add these manures or uh, but it has to enrich the nutrients in the soil so when the plants get nutrients enough amount they give gives good yield so next uh, next we will go for difference between the fertilizers and manure what is the difference between fertilizers and manure both are essential for getting a better yield but even though say, there are some differences between there there is there will be a some difference between fertilizers and manure so here when you go for the differences uh, first one fertilizers are inorganic salts but when as manure they are made up of water natural substance obtained from the decomposition of water cattle dung human waste and plant waste so they are getting uh, they are prepared by using of water uh, natural wastes but second one the fertilizers are made up of uh, prepared in the uh, factories whereas manure can be prepared in the fields even we can prepare in the fields also with less investment but these to prepare fertilizers we need to install some factories so it is costlier the third one a fertilizers does not provide any humus to the soil but whereas manure uh, provides a lot of human humus to the soil fourth one the fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like a nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so fertilizers which gives water uh, enough amount of uh, these nutrients like uh, nitrogen phosphorus and potassium whereas manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients and compared to the fertilizers and uh, these are the some differences between fertilizers and the manure but still uh, using of manures is very best than the fertilizers what are the why we need to use manures when compared to the fertilizers there are some advantages of it by using of uh, manure they are it ensures that water holding capacity of the soil so manure if you use it helps the holding capacity it, uh, 
uh, it enriches the holding capacity of water from uh, of the soil and it makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases becomes easy so if you use a uh, manures or if you use organic manures it uh, helps the soil or it loses the soil and makes the porous in the soil and that when the uh, soil becomes loose it easily exchanges the gases the last one third one that it increases the number of friendly microbes so here using organic manure into the fields it, it it increases the microbes those microbes which are helpful for the um, decomposition so and one it helps to get good yield from the fields and the last one it improves the soil texture of the soil so these are the some advantages over the um, fertilizers so these are the uh, this is the two important agriculture practices that are used uh, during cultivation of crops in the next class we will discuss about uh, uh, remaining agricultural practices thank you